Oh, minus 26. 15 kilometer an hour wind. I uh, added an extra layer underneath my jacket this morning because yesterday I could feel a little bit of cold most of the trip. But adding that extra layer had me pretty much not overheating, but feeling pretty warm by the end. So it's a little delicate balance, you know, how many layers do you need versus how cold is it versus how windy is it. And one thing I noticed this morning, part of my walk starts on Mitch Owens Road, which is actually a highway. It's amazing, the colder it gets, the less vehicles on the road at 5.30 in the morning. I don't know what these people are doing when it's warm at 5.30 in the morning, but there's not that many cars on the road today at 5.30. And the usual suspects are uh, leaving their homes as I walk around the loop that takes me to through a uh, quiet street, I guess you could say, a residential street. But then again, the usual suspects who have their cars idling, warming up in the morning, are idling and warming up in the morning. And I, quite frankly, don't get it. A modern vehicle heats up pretty quick. Doesn't need to idle. The engine doesn't need it. Maybe the people want a nice, warm, toasty car to climb into, but they ought to be dressed appropriately for the unexpected accident they might be stuck in. And at minus 26 and some wind, if they're not wearing appropriate clothing and their car isn't running, they're going to be freezing pretty damn quick. So the whole, I'm going to have my car start up and let it warm up for 10 minutes before I get in it and just, you know, briefly experience the cold on both ends of the trip. Don't get it myself. But hey, I'm not your average bear, I guess. I mean, who else is walking at 5.30 in the morning when it's minus 26 with 15 kilometers an hour of wind and enjoying it? That's all for today. Have a good one. Bye.